All right, here we are at a curb. We're gonna cross the street. Sit, good. And I always have them sit at curbs. It's great practice. You don't have to do this every time, but just think if you were to do this as much as I've done this, see how I popped up? If he pops up, you say no. Do your little left circle. Gently but firmly put him back. All I did was say no, I did the circle, and I pulled up with a little tension, and he went right back. And this is a great curb to practice at because there's so much going on. That's why we're videoing here, so it's not some isolated place where there's no distractions, so you can see how it works in real life. So, we're back at the curb. I'm having him sit. If you did do this every time you came to a curb, it'd be great, great practice. If he pops up, you say no. He needs to stay seated there. And of course, I'm picking a real difficult place for him to do this, but I always do the sit-stay where I walk around both ways. And you may have to reset him a couple of times if there's a lot going on, but it just really helps his overall concentration. I went around both ways and he stayed there. Now I'm gonna go back next to him with his treat. I'm gonna say, good. Make sure you go straight down or else he could pop up because he's got that real hyper little, little uh, demeanor where anything could make him pop up sometimes, especially food. So we wanna make sure that he's, he's seated there before we continue on, we go back next to him and you pat your leg and you say, okay.